do at the height of the Cold War, Baslane Peace Camp was set up outside the nuclear naval base on the Gearlock, about 30 miles west of Glasgow. From the beginning, the camp enjoyed immense support, including both the regional and local council, and indeed it was the only legal peace camp in the UK. But now, due to local government boundary changes, after over 15 years, the camp faces the threat of eviction. Nuclear weapons are a worldwide issue. We don't want to just get rid of nuclear weapons in Scotland. We want to be rid of them all over the world. And so we know that we're part of a worldwide movement. And that's why it's, it's good to have people from different parts of the world actually joining in with what we're doing. The first atom bombs to arm the Trident submarines arrived in 1992, escorted by armed soldiers and police. Hundreds of demonstrators have been arrested whilst delaying these deadly convoys. Oh, every six weeks, a convoy leaves uh, Burfield. It's just near Newbury, and it travels up, stops overnight at RF Wittering, which is near Peterborough, and goes to Newcastle another night, and then it comes through Glasgow, over the Erskine Bridge, and up to Tolford. Now there's 16 missiles in each submarine, it, and each missile has got eight warheads, and each warhead is eight times the power of the Hiroshima bomb. So it's pretty awesome what you've got there. You can destroy pretty much a whole continent, probably two continents from the from fast lane. You might have got both arms up to your up to your armpits in concrete with a you know with with, a, with cuffs on the end of them, and you're strapped to the ground or whatever, and you're prepared to just lie there and hope for the best. We can we can do the usual thing, but we have to wait for them to come in to fight them. But we're all prepared to. We will. Most most of the people have got a lot of experience. So it's a very tight, bendy tunnel. The meanders left and right all over the place. And uh, at the end, there's going to be a chamber with a lock-on point, and somebody will lock themselves on to come the eviction. So that's the main defence. Um, it goes under approximately about 20 feet down. And it's short. It's not the only part that's shored is the chamber itself. The rest of it's left unsured, so they're going to have to shore it. The tunnel team that's coming after. Uh, certainly think that whether they evict the camp or not, people will certainly still protest against nuclear weapons. You know. yeah, it's, it's really important that the peace camp remains at Fast Lane. They stay there, they keep an eye on what, what's happening at the base. They remind people that the nuclear weapons are still here and we've still got to get this job finished and get rid of them. We've got a tree that was planted by survivors of Hir Hiroshima in 83. We've got some very important um, input over the years from, from people and it's, it's a garden and it, it must remain. For the peace camp, two things are certain. Firstly, the campers and their supporters will not take the threat of eviction lying down and secondly, whatever happens, the fight against all nuclear weapons will continue. From 1998, all Britain's nuclear defences will be based here at Baslane Naval Base.